It's a full rejection coming down. One more rejection, dollars and pounds. Take these empty numbers, add them and roll. Stack them high if that's your ultimate goal. Green and Nitty's telling me what to do. I'm not listening to you. One more time and I'm through. Stuart? Yeah? Uh, th 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 those numbers? Uh-huh. Th 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 they, don't, they don't work. What do you mean, they don't work? Well, they, they, they don't work because they, they, they don't add up. You see, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Th that, that's math, and, and these numbers don't work when I add them up, so that's... Yeah, but this is budgeting, Bill. I mean, 2 plus 2 can equal 3, or it can equal 5, right? Plus two is four. I mean, that's 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 a given. That's that's basic mathematics. God. Two units plus two units equals four units. That's always the case. That's, that's since the dawn of time. Two plus two has always been four. It's, a, it's an elementary. You know, combine with any other two given items, and it gives you a total of four given items, no matter what the items are and where they've been given from. I mean, that's elementary mathematics. That goes all the way back to first grade mathematics. I remember in my elementary first grade class, I mean, Mrs. McGiven told us that that was two plus two, and that you put um, two items of, of some type, two pencils, and you get another, two pens over here, and you put those together, and, and it still comes up to four, even though you're, you're mixing your utensils. And four fingers is always two fingers and two fingers, and you mix two fingers and two toes, and it's still four. And you could use a calculator or use an abacus. It really doesn't make much difference because four is two put plus two put together. It always comes up to, to, to that number. That's, that's no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing. And I, I, we learned that in first grade elementary mathematics in Ms., Mrs. McGavitt's class. And, and, and why would they teach something like that to six-year-olds if it wasn't true? I mean, that's, that's the way that it goes. If, if you use four beads and... Hey, Stuart. I hear you're coming right along with those new budget projections. So what's new with you these days, Stuart? Yeah, you know, Don was telling me he might have a few small tweaks he might like to have you make to the Q3 before the Monday morning planning session. If you could just check in with him before you leave tonight, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing those new reports then. Three points. Great game on tonight, March Madness. Don't miss it. Nice.